Okay, so Angie, I don't really fancy this design. Okay, outside, <coughs> but inside I'm in love with what's happening inside. So that's the back where the swimming pool is, and this is the front where you enter from. Now the front looks small. If I show you this way, it's actually going to look like a small house from the front. It doesn't look like a story building at all, it just looks like a house with a high roof, but it's more complicated than that. So let's go straight to the plan. Now, this is a place enough for a parking space, but I don't want to put a parking space here. Just this front here. I just want it to be left empty. It's going to allow air to circulate in this area. So I want like you sit out here, you cross this place into the house. Okay. That kind of um door um sit out just outside here. So go straight to the point. Now this is the main entrance. Now once you enter into this hallway, you could go right, which goes to the guest bedroom the place for the people you can't do without and you can go left into the office with his own um, toilet and wc with his own toilet and um, washing basin and basically a unit that is self-sustaining or you could go straight down into the main house now this is quite extreme and i'm not sure if you are ready for it the living room and the dining all together in this large space this space is quite large this is about the size of many houses in the uk this is about 57 square meters this is about 10 no five pieces of single rooms joined together i think i like it i'm in love with it this is the most expensive part of the house. Now, I'm not sure if you are ready for it. What I could have done was put maybe like a curtain or a railing or something just to cut across, just to demarcate the kitchen from the living room if you are not too comfortable with it. Then from there, you could go into mommy's bedroom which is right here this is quite a large bedroom and you could go upstairs upstairs to your own bedrooms now this mommy's bedroom she could sit here she could put her bed here have wardrobes that line this whole wall and this is a closet a closet she can put her table and things like that the her dressing table somewhere here with mirrors and lights and this is the bathroom shower washer sink and things like that this kitchen can't be a fitted kitchen anymore if you just have like a store just below the steps that's all that's the best i think i can do because i want the kitchen to be as bare as possible apart from this center island and maybe cooked up and things like that so going upstairs this is her swimming pool i'm sure you are used to it already her swimming pool just outside her room not too far from her so she can wake up in the morning and see water wake up in the morning and see the grass all around it so going up you go upstairs and you land to your bedroom. You land upstairs here and you land to your bedroom. So from your bedroom, you can enter your toilet and shower. Those are the two rooms upstairs. The design, I'm taking advantage of the slope of the site. The part where the site goes down, I'm going to make it a story building and the part where it's very high. I'm going to make it a single building so we can step the building along.
don't go in of those direction but basically it's a building that shows like a bungalow from inception 